Yeah. And it's called ass. It's called for. ass. And what does ass stands for? Ass stands for um adult supervision mm-hmm. special. Yes, sir. Adult supervision, which is the name of my upcoming EP. Yes. So, Dropping yeah. tenth. Ten. EP, cause he got some features on that shit, and it's like, any, how how many tracks on it? About nine songs on it. And yeah. last last time he dropped the project was a, uh, the one with a uh, painting for the blinds, a uh, ghetto rock for the youth. For the youth, yeah, that was like, yeah. How would, would you like compare from now? Cause that shit was way way back, like two K seventeen. Yeah. Uh huh. And there's some progress, not only like in music you did, but on yourself too. So like, mm-hmm, what's mm-hmm. the different vibes? It's like. Uh man, it's just mad growth for sure. Um, mm-hmm. like that 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 one that that project was kind of more. I guess you could say like slightly more conceptual than than this one. This one is more like <clears throat> a compilation of uh, just vibes, like mm-hmm. dope different vibes, like a lot of my favorite tracks, you know, and 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 favorite tracks are like you know my friends and, and my close you know teammates and shit so we just put yeah. this one together like that um but difference between that one and ghetto rock for the youth like yeah ghetto rock for the youth i was really trying to like make make uh unique like just specific different kind of sound yeah because it's you know very know versatile it's yeah. wild yeah. like you started the way yeah okay. exactly yeah. you know like especially i feel like not saying everyone sounds alike because everybody's got their own style, but mm-hmm. I feel like um, producer. I was I was super hyped to see you collab with and um, K Trinata. Mm-hmm. How'd that go down? Like, uh, I met K Trinata at a party a few years ago, and we had known like of each other, but never met each other. And He's so, from Birds too, right? Nah, oh, okay. he from the South Shore. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, we had met at this party and we had linked up, you know, got in the studio. He showed me mad beats and all that, and um, that's it. He gave me he gave me a crazy beat pack, and and you know I just did my thing with it. He let me do my thing with it. And do you have more song with Kechanara dropping on us? Um, what's up, man? I got I got something with K Chinata on ass, yeah, but not 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 nothing you ain't heard. So okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but I do got more in the vault with him. Um, got some heat in the vault coming. So yeah, y'all can be on the lookout for that. I'll be on the lookout for that. And um, when you were showing us uh, some of the music, there was a feature on it. Okay, can I, can I drop the feet like, or is it like confidential shit? For sure. Mick Jenkins, and Mick Jenkins is a uh, well, he's a friend of uh, Kitchenana, right? right? Big Montreal. This is like, yeah, exactly. He fuck. Like, no, 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 I know, but like he comes to Montreal a lot. Like. Yeah, exactly. Did, did you link up with him because of Kitchenana? No. So Nate X Mick Jenkins. What's the story behind it? Um, I had met Mick Jenkins like long ass time ago um, at uh at South by Southwest. Ooh, yo! And um, I really, I really like that's the only time we ever met. It was real brief, you know. But I, I'm cool and been knowing his manager for longer than him. I used to ball with his manager and shit and so yeah recently you know it's always kind of been in the talks as of late like you know gotta get a track with Mick like that'd be crazy you know um he's always showing love to the city you know what I'm saying um so we all fuck with him um and yeah bro it was just like something that I guess was just bound to happen, you know what I'm saying? Like, as much as any one of my fans would would appreciate or wanna know what a sound a, a song with Nate Husser and Mick Jenkins would sound like, like so do I. Yeah, you exactly. know, so you have like, a yeah. too. Yes, 
I'm like, I want to hear, I want to hear what the fuck that song would sound like too, bro. You know what I'm saying? So. Oh, from what I heard. <laughs> yeah, from what I heard, it's uh, it's pretty all right. <laughs> yeah. No, Mm-hmm. Oh, I love That's McJenkins. That's why when you showed yeah, us, yes, yes. I didn't even know he was really fucking with Montreal like that before I heard of Five One Four and um, Homeboy. Shout out to my coworker Phil. Like he, we were talking about McJenkins. He was like, oh yeah, he comes to Montreal like super often. It's like he fucks with the city.